TNT. What's up, man? Gotta love the news week. It was a slow news week. It was. It was a very slow news week. Before we get into the stories, though, make sure you follow us on our social media, at Crazy Town Media, on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube channel, Crazy Town Media, or the cornucopia of continuous information, thecrazytown.com. I think you live just to, like, do our promotion. Dude, you I am like, a marketing like, machine. Like that. You love it, dude. So you're awful. <laughs> You're awful uh, dressed up today, TNT. Yeah, Jonas, it's not hate, it's heritage, man. <laughs> uh, I actually, like, I saw the mask when we were buying masks for the podcast, and then I was this like... This is my face, what are you talking about? I mean, basically, what... <laughs> basically the same thing. <laughs> the whitest ghost ever? Yeah. <laughs> but I saw the mask, and I was like, I gotta get a shirt to match that. And then I saw this one. I don't know if I like it. It's like, it's kind of Brock Lesnar-ish a little bit. Oh, I see. Like, okay, for the people who are listening to audio only, why don't you describe what you oh, mean? Oh, I am wearing a Confederate flag <laughs> mask. <laughs> <laughs> and a and middle a, finger confederate and a flag middle t-shirt. finger confederate flag t-shirt and a uh, new york hat that is in the uh style of a caribbean shirt all red white and blued out it's very good yeah so you gotta uh, own it. they also sent me the sticker too if you guys are wondering yeah dude in case when you order heritage gear <laughs> they make sure you get all out on heritage jonas gear. doesn't approve dude i, I- could you imagine we turned this shit on? I was wearing that. How, much, how different it would be right now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah, like, I dude, guess. I just, you know, yeah. just carried it heritage enough, yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm kind of just like, I'm kind of like, it's satire, obviously. Right, obviously. I love black people. Uh, well, me too. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, John, you missed it. Uh, there it is. Yeah, boy. You, you tickle, All right. You tickled my palm a little bit. Ooh. Well, <laughs> All right, so. Let's go. First things first. What do we got? Let's get into a little updates. Da, da, da. We need like an update noise. Dude, I was thinking this on the way it's home like, today. I was <laughs> like, we need to get noises, dude. Dude. We need like some gunshots. It's like it's like fucking on Unsolved Mysteries. Update. <laughs> fucking Robert Stack. Yeah, I think we do. I think we need to incorporate sound. Yeah, but you need like a soundboard and shit. You gonna buy that? Jonas, whenever I come on, you're just gonna hold your phone up like you know it, damn well, <laughs> like the Family Feud brother. <laughs> you know damn well I will, but I'm pretty sure there's an app that we can get that can like but yeah, uh, but we have to like make it line into everything. That's where the soundboard comes. No, in. I mean, dude, it's a computer. You can get a soundboard app. E- you don't understand what I'm talking. No, about. Okay. Con- I I mean I watch podcasts. Yeah, man. dude, you have to inline the sound. Into the audio. If not, it's just going to be a sound. There's some. I'm yeah, going to look it up. It's called a soundboard. I'm going to look it up. Not not like a fucking Guy Fieri soundboard where I'll like, I'm gonna yeah, look dog. Up. I know what you're talking about because I've know. seen them on the internet. But anyway, Anyways, I'm going to look it up. We'll see what we can do. First update. We'll see. Kind of took me by surprise today. What is that? Your boy. My boy. No, nah, no. We traded him. We traded him? We traded him. Mr. Smollett. Yeah. He uh, all of a sudden was, he was facing 16 felonies, 40 some years in jail. Today he walks free. All charges dropped. Yeah, what's the caveat? Whose dick did he suck? No, he didn't suck it. He's a homosexual man, dude. Is he really? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh. All That's right. That's why he fucked up Black History Month for the blacks and the gays. Oh, shit. And the gay blacks. Oh. <laughs> All, like the trifecta. Yeah. Dude, okay. I up. didn't realize he was a homosexual male. Yes, he's a super. He said he was the gay Tupac. Oh my God! Okay. So what was the caveat to him getting all of his charges? Oh right? no! Because this was actually one of my stories. Dude, nothing. So I looked at it a little bit. There was one. Well, here they go. They go. Here's the quote. Okay. After reviewing all facts and circumstances, including his volunteer service in the community and agreement to forfeit his bond as a skinny as Chicago, mm-hmm. we believe this outcome is just disposition and appropriate resolution for this case. Okay. So. The caveat is, is that he gave up ten thousand dollars. That was the, the so bail. he he, did. he was on a hundred thousand dollars bail. You pay ten percent. That's what bail is. Ten percent of that. So he forfeited that. He doesn't get that money back. Basically, because he inconvenienced the police. Yeah, guy. dude, but that's illegal as fuck. Okay. They also, I don't know what his lawyers did, but I guess they came to the conclusion that he didn't try to extort anybody. He would just did it to get attention. But one of the felonies is following a police report. That's not, you can't. That's I agree, dude. If I I'm gonna go file a fake one and be like, <laughs> oh, you can keep my 10k, dog. I I mean, 
<laughs> eventually, what is filing a, f- a fake police report going to cost you? It's going to cost you. It might not necessarily yeah. get you sent to jail, especially if they determine it's misdemeanor. So ten thousand dollars and his records, because this was one of my stories, motherfucker. Okay, I was, hey, I'm his just record, updating. His records are sealed because they said it should have never existed, and that is because all the information that was coming out was before he even went to trial. Somebody was leaking the information. Right. They used that in court. Like, why is all of my information being leaked? It's a failure in your system. This is just me kind of brainstorming. All right, all right. But there was a failure in the system, so they came to an agreement. Oh, like he, they felt he was going to get off because they... Yeah, exactly. Because of, like, the... Exactly. Uh. So nobody can even see anything about his trial because his his uh, his file has been sealed, so nobody uh, can well, ever see I mean, see regardless, it. his career's over. Yeah, I think so. And and the fact of the matter is, in the article I read, they even said that uh, there is a good chance that he probably still did exactly what was said, but nobody can ever prove it at this point. Right, right. Because case closed. Yeah, right. Okay. All charges dropped on your mans. <laughs> My man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so, dude. Jesse Smollett walks free, free. Free and clear, dude. On a technicality. Yeah, dude. But I think that backfired on him. How did it backfire on him, man? Because he, got... he wanted, like, he got he lost his gig. He was on TV and shit. Ain't no one gonna go see him in con- Was he gonna do fucking TED Talks? Well, yeah, Jonas. I mean... <laughs> He's not going to do TED Talk. But yeah, imagine that. He, he <laughs> fucked that up, but at least he's not going to jail for it, I guess. I know, right? So, there you go. He's yeah. out. Yeah, he's, he's Roaming there. Roaming the streets. So, I told you that uh, I had an update on the Aunt Becky child uh, school shit you gotta, case. You, you got to specify, man, because that just sounded like, that sounded like some rape Lori, shit. <laughs> it did. Lori Laughlin committed fraud and got her daughter into USC by paying. It you wasn't said, just her, though. But you said that you had an update. I have an update about a, another person speaking out on it. Who What's the that? update you heard? Oh, what, on them? Yeah, you said, oh, I, have, I heard something about that, too. I did hear something about it. I don't quite okay. remember, though. I don't know. So, have you ever heard of Mr. Andre Young? No. Who the fuck is that? That's our favorite gangster rapper turned beats billionaire, oh, Dr. Dr. Dre. Dre. Okay, this is what I heard. This oh, is, is it? Okay, heard. awesome, awesome. All right, yeah, go ahead. So, this mi- is good. Mr. Dre, mm-hmm. doctor, <laughs> PhD. beats billionaire, PhD <laughs> of gangsta love. DDS. Ooh. Anesthetician. <laughs> All of the above. Keep going. Uh, proctologist he he thought that all this shit was bullshit that's bullshit all you motherfuckers getting your kids into school by paying money yeah motherfuckers he he treat he tweeted out my daughter got accepted into usc all on her own yeah my daughter got right into her college becky you're a bitch (laughs) oh wait i forgot oh yeah then someone pointed out to him that Mr. Andre Young made a $70 million donation to USC <laughs> for the Andre Young Academy for Arts and Tech and Business Innovation. Oops. The Derek Zoolander Center for Kids Who Don't Read Well. How much did he donate? $70 million. Oh. Sounds like that's on the top of the list. Sounds like that'll easily get anybody you want into that college. Yeah, no, no, that was a donation. The motherfucker, come on. They said, it's not, remember when the cops came out and said, this is fraud, this is bribery. It's not like they donated to the university. <laughs> so you donate. Yo, <laughs> look, if I give anybody $70 million, I get rights to come and go as I please. <laughs> you get a key to the fucking For me city. and my whole fucking family. You get a key to like every dorm, every building. They're just like, here this you go, ridiculous. here's a skeleton key for the university. That's ridiculous. Well, TMZ, I guess, looked into this some more, and they found posts where his daughter was talking about how she didn't want to go to USC and her dad was making her. And then, lo and behold, she gets in all on her own. Hmm. Kind of a a coincidence. Yeah. Hmm, Almost like uh, $70 million just gets you wherever you want to go. Yeah, dude. On her own. Jonas, there is not a place on this planet that I could give, donate $70 million (laughs) to and not get into. There's nowhere. Um, I can get into the Rothschilds family mega base. Look that shit up. Where's that at? Yeah, exactly. Where's the mega base? You don't know. You know, should we do themed episodes like that? The whole show about the Rothschilds or fucking the, the Illuminatis? 
I don't know. That seems like a lot more work. Oh, than it's a lot worth. of investigative work. Like that one episode we did about the Fermi paradox. Holy shit! Yeah. I had to read that article four times to understand. Yeah, it. I'm not it was all like about up that. Here. I'm not all. This. These are my notes. All right. All right. I got this is a her. whole episode's worth. I'm happy with that. So that doesn't prove that she didn't get down on her own. Yeah. But Dr. Dre did delete that tweet. So that kind of makes mm-hmm. me believe he was like, oh, He was fuck. like, oh, shit. He was like, oh, shit, dog. <laughs> why, why did I open my big, rich mouth? <laughs> yeah, right? I should just keep my big, rich Twitter <laughs> account locked up. All right. I, I have something to talk about. All right, yeah. Go with your I want to get serious one. for a second. I this is it. legitimate serious. I doubt it. It really is. I doubt it. Speaks that. from the heart. I don't believe it. No, I'm not fucking right. <laughs> Just want you to get to the point. So make me sad then, Jonas. Oh, it's gonna make you sad. All right, dude. So in the last week, there has been three suicides from shooting school shooting survivors. Two of the Parkland kids that survived that shooting killed themselves, mm. and one of the fathers of the kids from Sandy Hook, all within the last week, have killed themselves. What do they call that? Like survivors? Survivors guilt. guilt. Yeah. So I just want to take this moment. To tell you how serious suicide is, and that you, sh- if you're feeling suicidal, you should call 1 800 273 8255 or go to su- could you, could you Suicide Prevention could, Lifeline. Could you say it dot not org. like a cheap lawyer commercial? <laughs> <laughs> could you just say it like a normal human being? 800 273 talk 8255. And that's, that's if you need the help. Suicide like, Prevention Lifeline.org. Tragic, man. Not only yeah. did they have to survive a school shooting, they have to live without the rest of their life. So not it's not over that day. It continues. That's crazy, man. Have you ever have you ever dealt with uh being in a place where you fell suicidal, Jonas? Uh I've been depressed. I've never wanted to kill myself though. I've never wanted to kill myself either. Yeah, dude. But I you know, I could understand it like depression. You never called a suicide hotline? No, dude. No? You? I absolutely have. Just to like talk? Yeah. Sometimes you need this somebody to talk to, hey. man. We all have rough days. Hey, we do. You know? Absolutely. And you're like, I'm not suicidal, but yeah, and you, and you don't have to. You don't have to do it alone. No, you don't. You don't. That's the most important thing. If that thought crosses your head, you call that number. Yeah, be like TNT Dynamite. Make the fucking call and get your shit together. All right. Yeah, dude. Get all your shit in a pile together and get your shit together. All right. That's well, a Rick and Morty. That was our public service announcement for episode five. Did you just put the send? What send, what are you doing? Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's Look at beautiful. that. Cindy Ruthen put in the coming comments. through in the clutch. All right. Uh, oh, so now it's my turn. It's your turn, man. Jonas, why'd you make us sad? You said make me. You literally just said make me sad. All right. Well, I'm gonna give you something that's kind of not sad. But... Oh, good. I got all something right. great. Have, it's have, not sad at all. Have you ever heard of AIM or? I love that toothpaste. Mm, no. I love no. that instant messenger when I was a kid. Oh, I knew you were going to go there. <laughs> I like Hello. it, though. I like it, though. No, it is artificial intelligent music. What? Yes. So. So the, DJ Roomba fucking makes DJ his own beats? DJ Roomba on the beat. <laughs> no. So uh, there is a company. It was a New York-based company. I do okay. not remember the name of it. Do you remember it. AIM Toothpaste, by the way? Jonas. <laughs> Focus. <laughs> I just let you know while you were looking at your phone. So they have an algorithm that actually listens to and follows a human performer. Okay. And it can create music to match the motions and the emotions that the performer wants to listen. So like they listen to like lose yourself and they like like oh I got this shit. We're gonna pump you up, get exactly. you all fucking inspired and shit. Exactly. Allow me to read this short article. Yeah, dude. Read um, it. several music softwares. This is like straight from Wikipedia. Where's, where's so, that from? Yeah, straight right. from Wikipedia. All right, so, cool. Wiki, you so, got it. Several music softwares have been developed to, that use uh, AI to produce music. Like its applications in other fields, the AI in this can also simulate mental tasks. A prominent feature is the cap- capability of the AI algorithm to learn based. Based on information obtained, such as the computer accompaniment and technology, which is capable of listening to and following the human performer. Artificial intelligence drives the so-called interactive composition, wherein a computer composes me- music in response to the performance of the live musician. There are several other AI applications that the music covers not only music composition, production, and perform, but also the way it is marketed and consumed. So oh, they shit. actually have the ai doing all the jobs companies like apple and spotify rely on user data uh to 
arg augment their engagement metrics and to a uh, powered ability to get consumers to listen to more and more music. They actually have an AI that has albums out on Spotify. A lot of them are just kind of like mood music to help you go to sleep. Oh, right, like right. ASMR, almost like ASMR, like raindrops and shit like that. Okay. But it's, it's just fuck. it's nuts, man. That this is like everything is becoming more automated, yes. But artificial intelligence making music? There's yeah, actually yeah. an artist out, like I said, they already have AI CDs out, but there was an artist that was mentioned too. I'm not going to mention her because I've never heard of her. I'm not going to fucking, not on my channel, goddammit. <laughs> but she actually used some of the AI created music on her CD. They suing him? No. <laughs> No, AI no. getting that cut, that cheddar? <laughs> no, we'll talk about that in my other stuff. Very good. But is, isn't that kind of nuts, man? Like, dude, you know, AI making. I already know how you feel about artificial <laughs> intelligence, so I knew this would dude, get you. Dude, I knew listen, this would get you. When they win the AI Grammys, dude, it's gonna be like a bunch of fucking <laughs> robot singularity. It's the AI Grammy. It's gonna be like. <laughs> Thank you for treating me like a real person. I want to invoke emotion, but I can't cry because I'll rust my face. No, no, no. Keep this voice going for the rest of the podcast, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, no if anything, it's going to be a group of, like, fucking nerds with, like, glasses. Like, oh, thank you for my award. Like, like fucking, they might be giants robots. Yeah, do you know how to play an instrument? No, oh, I played a calculator. <laughs> oh, I use the synthesizer. <laughs> I've never had sex. <laughs> but I'm oh, a billionaire. Well, no robots have had sex. <laughs> no, Jonas. I'm talking about the nerds that made the robots. Oh, those are the guys. You know what? Oh. I wonder, Jonas, would you give up sex to be a billionaire right now? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Dude, money can buy a lot of things, but if you if, if you aren't... Because seriously, these guys that are like tech geniuses, yeah. they're not fucking a lot. Well, like, Bill Gates ain't getting a whole lot of pussy. He is probably now. He could get whatever whatever. He has a wife, wife, dude. Exactly. He's but hanging I'm, out. But during his upbringing, like his early hanging? years, Bill Gates' early years, he wasn't getting any. What about giving up sex for 10 years... To build your billion, and then you can have sex again. But you're losing ten years of virility, man. You may, who knows when the impotence is going to hit. Honestly, but, some of the best sex was when I shouldn't have been having sex. But I figure if that I got a billion best. dollars, I can make my penis work if it ain't working. Yeah, and then you end up a dead billionaire like the like the diamond miner, that we have, the diamond cutter guy. Have you ever had an energy drink? Yes, Jonas. I've had energy drinks many times. You have a few and you seem to be an addict. I don't even know what they are. Uh, I'm not going to is advertise any, them. Is there anything else about AI you want to talk about? Uh, <laughs> you try to segue and then you backtrack? No, dude. No, dude I just want to let people know is that there's artificial intelligence out there creating music. And very soon, we might be inundated with it. Dude, I hope. Because it... It's like Skrillex meets. Yeah, it's like it's almost like cheating to make a song. Like an artist has to work hard to figure out what sounds good. Do they? They, I mean, to some, a certain to, a, cer work to hard. a certain extent, it still takes a team of humans to create a good song. Whereas an artificial intelligence can just be like, these grouping of notes will make you feel happy. That's weird. Yeah, yeah. dude, it's almost like they're a clairvoyant. It's almost like they're controlling our emotions through sound. Dude, singularity. Yeah. Dude, if they can make emotional music, they exactly. can they can make themselves feel. Uh and then <laughs> what? and then they don't have ears. It's a robot. Dude. It's not even a robot. It's a just data and a motherboard. Dude, AI is fucked up. Yeah. The music right now can in inhibit sleep in us, make us want to fall asleep. Next it's gonna make us kill ourselves. <laughs> the AI music is gonna have a hidden suicide button. Exactly, Jonas. You can't do that. After, you can't joke about suicide. I'm not joking at all. You, just, you are. That no. was a, clearly a suicide joke. No. You just got so serious about suicide. You come with su <laughs> yeah, right, terrible. We're terrible people. Jonas, give me your energy drink story. Let's go. Would you drink a Zambian energy <laughs> drink? <laughs> I don't know what a Zambia is. Zambia is a. It's an African country. Do they Zambia. Have, do, they have, do they have zombies there? Yes. Zambia. No, zombie. Zambia. I saw that. Yeah, okay. I don't know, dude. I guess. So, it, as long as it's clean. So Zambia has an energy drink. It has a great name, by the way. I would drink this for sure. It's called Power Natural High Energy Drink SX. <laughs> what a fucking name. <laughs> All right. I bet it tastes like sweat. <laughs> Zombians. They're just like us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, buddy! 
All right. So All right, what's um, in it, Jonas? Because I know this is the caveat is what's in the shit. Dude, they had to ban it. They had to ban it? Banned it? In Zombia? Yeah, Zombia. But they got zombies there. They don't ban the zombies, but they'll ban the Dude, can Zombia ban zombies? Because <laughs> right. I think so. What's in it? I want to hear. I'm excited. Well, Test Show, mm -hmm. once they got some complaints, that it had sildenafil citrate in it. I don't know As what that is. As a medical, maybe knowledgeable man. Sen wait, say it again. Sildenafil citrate. Sin sildenafil. S i l d e n. Sildenafil citrate. Yes. Nope, not drawing. Don't recognize not, it. Not ringing a bell. Well, I'll tell you what one of the complaints said. He said, "I like the energy drink, but it gave me very much sweating and a six-hour erection." Jones, does this should have uh, dick pills in it? <laughs> they found out that it had. Viagra in it. That's what sildenafil citrate is. It's got crushed up dick pills in it. it well, it did. Now it doesn't. <laughs> Why would they put dick pills in your drink? Dude, I don't know. But what the article said was, and I quote, it was very popular among Zambian men. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine why that is. <laughs> yeah, and they said it was sold in supermarkets and bars. What a combo. Yo, if I'm drinking a monster and it makes my dick hard, I'm buying a case of that shit. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm not even lying, <laughs> John. You don't know what's in it. You're just like, like, you asked me if I'd purchase this product, and I want to tell you a hundred times yes. What if you don't have a lady to fulfill your needs with? Jonas, though? man, you could have an all-night jackathon. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? You'd, be, you'd look like a piece of fucking broken lumber in the morning. <laughs> With the bark off. Yeah, like all the bark would be shucked off. <laughs> Jesus. Shucked. <laughs> like shucked the bark. That's shucked great. the bark right off your Yo, wang doodle, you know what, dude. Jonas, sometimes you hit them out of the park, man. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you do. You know? Shucking your bark off your <laughs> That was good. Wow. So, oh, uh, shit. yeah, dude. Yeah. That, actually, I think that's a great product. I don't, I kind of surprised we don't have that. Well, like, you would think, like, instead of, like, one pill, you could, like, slowly sip on your V juice before you fucking get all your party town. <laughs> I'll just make up new words for it. No, that's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It seems like a great idea. I, like, we had Fort Loco, and they got rid of that. Oh, so I don't dude. see us getting dick pill juice anytime soon. One, two, three, four Loco on that ass. That shit was fucking insane. That shit was disgusting. It, it, dude, it, especially, like, it was like, oh, we have great flavors, like watermelon. And you're like, it tastes like watermelon and lighter fluid mixed yeah. together. It's like, hey, do you want to get sick tonight? <laughs> Here you go. Yo, I used to drink that shit. I used to get the peach flavor. Oh, dude, it's so gross. It was the only one I could take and not throw up, but it got you fucked. Dude, the only time I ever drank that, I had to work the next day, and I was still drunk when I woke up. Yeah. Like, I only drank one, and then went to the bar and had, like, three beers. I was shit-faced. Yo, man, I'm telling you, for years, when we played Destiny together, that is all I drank was four <laughs> locos. Four locos? Yeah, well, not when I was living with my ex, but when I was in my own place. Yeah, it was four locos and fucking... Well, it once I took the caffeine, it still fucked you up. Yeah. But it was something about the caffeine mixed in with it that just like, and like rocked your world. And like a buck fifty five. <laughs> you drank two of those, your night was over. Like you a dollar fifty. Yeah, like dude. literally. For a three dollars you could get wasted drunk. <laughs> yeah. Like really drunk. You're not wrong. Yeah, dude. Whew. Stay away from the V sauce kids. Yeah, dad, no V juice for any of you little Youngins out there, or, or v, oldins, or V sauce, or vegans. I don't, I don't trust that. Or vegetarians. I don't trust that guy. Or vagina monsters. Is it my turn? Should I go? Wait, when? Sure. Is it my? Are, oh yeah, dude. All right, I'll go. That's fine. Real professional work here. <laughs> We've got seg. I don't segue like he does. Jonas, have you ever blown a man? <laughs> All right. <laughs> no. Actually, well, that's going to change today on <laughs> on stream. Nah, dude, we'll get banned. Jonas, did you? I hope this isn't one of yours because I kind of feel like it might be. What is? It is about Article 13 and Article 11. That Flo just Florida man? No. No, nah, dude, Article 13, All throw right. it out. Article 13 and our Article 11 passed as of today in European Parliament. I think I heard about this. This is the internet copyright uh, Oh, shit, I didn't hear about this. Uh-oh. So, so this passed today, and uh, it is an attempt to even out the pay between creators and the platforms that they create on. Okay. Essentially, if a copyrighted, uh, what do you call it? A copyrighted 
content is uploaded to YouTube or or anywhere else, okay. it's kind of like who's at fault. It's either them or it's you. Right now, it's us, so we're punished. This article is to punish the the. Oh, it makes the, the site platform. accountable for what's put on them. So, ooh, that's, so that what, makes it bad. So, what means is that these pla- these platforms have to qualify which content is copyrighted, which means that they have to put it through filters, which means that anything from you lip syncing a song can be copyrighted. Could be. Yeah, could be. But even a chance which of something that obviously is not copyrighted, right. that it could be, is a problem. Right. Or you uh, watching your son's football game, your son, and <laughs> you didn't realize you had one. You watching your football game and putting that up could be copyrighted. Why? Because it could be a mistake. It could be seen as something that could be copyrighted. Oh, I got you. Okay. But the big thing that was on Reddit was the fact that memes could potentially be copyrighted. Oh, no. Because <laughs> you better fucking copyright all that. Don't memes. take our memes. But Jonas, this is still an issue. Um, <laughs> uh, no the, more shit posted, dude? <laughs> so for these platforms to upload some of this copyright information, they have to acquire licenses. Right. Now, to platforms like YouTube and Twitter and IG, they're not going to have any problem getting these licenses because they got millions of dollars. Yeah, they're not going to have any problem implementing these, filter, these filters because they have millions of dollars. But some of the smaller, like your deviant art, like, uh, just like even maybe even Tumblr. I don't know if they're making enough money nowadays to even do that, but they're going to have trouble acquiring these licenses, which means that they cannot take the chance of these copyrighted content being up there. So they're going to have stringent filters. Woo! Now this is only in Europe as of right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just I mean, this is only I'm intently watching this, you. This is only in Europe right now, but there's a good chance that it could bleed into America. Oh. And Jonas, I want to I want you to ask you a question. Who do you think has the most internet dollars right now? Who do you think has enough data to sell a cogent filter to all of these platforms Google. that now need it? 100% right. They have they have put millions, hundreds of millions of dollars into creating content ID uh, software as it is right oh, for now. for YouTube. Yeah, for themselves as well All and right. for everybody. All right, okay. So now that it is a necessity, at least in Europe, means is that it could potentially become a necessity worldwide, means that Google will only get bigger than it already is. Ooh. And it's already... It's scary. Oh, dude, Google is like it's like Umbrella from Resident Evil. So yeah, so Reddit's... they're gonna come out with pharmaceuticals. Next thing you know, it's gonna be fucking zombie dogs running around and shit. I'm telling you, man. So Reddit has been a buzz about this for like months, Take months, your and months, Google and months. Google pill. <laughs> no, no, not the Google. <laughs> Shaped like a G. You're like, oh, I love my daily Google. <laughs> Everything's gonna be Google. <laughs> yeah, dude, my Google condoms. You have the Google condoms. That's great, dude. Big G on the front where dude. the where the, the little reservoir tips can go through the Z, the G. Google condoms will give you an STD or malware or something. <laughs> They're just lined on the inside with STDs. You put it on. It's like a cavalcade of chaos. <laughs> Who are you fucking today? <laughs> can we take that data and oh, put God. it? To... Oh, gross. They take data of it how long it takes you to nut. Oh, dude, Google. <laughs> Seems like you're having a little problem with. Keeping it up. All of a sudden, you start getting fucking uh, stamina pill ads and shit, dude. Zombie juice, dude. You're getting zombie juice ads. Oh, my God. Google is scary, man. But you know what? I use them every goddamn day of my life. Dude, I'm going back to Metacrawler. So, yeah. That was a little scary. Does that still exist? Metacrawler? Yeah, dude. Uh, I doubt it. I don't know. Probably in some fashion. Google killed it. They probably don't do the same thing they used to do. (laughs) They, They sell phones now. Yeah. Like third market, third party, aftermarket, they, fucking. They don't sell phones. Imports. Import phones? <laughs> I yeah. think your phone is probably an import right now, there, big guy. Ah, dude, I'm straight from Yeah, the... I'm sure that your iPhone came from America. I have an iPhone, dog. I got a goddamn Samsung, so dude, what does that tell you? Dude, that's an American corporation. Uh-huh. Yeah, Henry Samsung. <laughs> sure. Jonathan Samsung says... So, Jonas, our memes may be taken away. Dude, um, I would... Because... I, you are the meme lord. Yeah. The, the parliament 
in Europe has actually passed this. So they're thinking <laughs> that memes may be, they might not be able to use their memes on Reddit because oh. there's a chance they could be copyrighted and there's a chance that Reddit could be oh, sued for Oh, and China it. bought Reddit, basically. I don't know. Is that true? Well, they invested three hundred million. Remember? Oh yeah, they own that. At least their daughter can go to Reddit school. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's for damn sure. Tim Apple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, yeah, that, there was some advancement in uh, the case for net neutrality. I, I, was just to be to, I was just about to say that. Yeah, so some good news, right? Yeah, the House passed the uh, repeal. No, and it, as well it should. So you know. Lost in Europe, win in America. Agit pie. Yeah. And honestly, I think that that precedence of that that whole thing will have something to do if that article is to bleed over here. Oh, because yeah. Because it's not. It's it's just a little bit of overregulation to a point. It is a little bit. I get it. I mean, I get it. You don't want you. I don't know. Man. I don't know. Either dude. way. Let's do something but, less sad. Well, you know what else I have? I have a little touch. You got more? Go ahead. Speaking of uh, things gaining momentum, mm -hmm. the uh, there is a petition on the UK's parliament website that was started yeah to revoke article 50 and not leave the european union and it's up it needs oh they're trying needs to ten thousand signatures to get a response one hundred thousand for parliament to think about debating it it is closing in on six million signatures so they're trying to d delete brexit huh? some some lady put it up there and the, and the public is just like the whole thing says you we may not ever get to vote on this again wow. show yourself <clears throat> what i read though about that that's kind of interesting wow is right now it doesn't really mean much because they can just say whatever fuck you yeah it said if it hits like 14 15 million online signatures yeah that's how many people voted to exit so at that point you have more people voting on that to repeal then it than ever voted to leave. So then they might go, oh, fuck, maybe we should do another vote at this point. Yeah, yeah. And then... And yeah. honestly, I, I, I don't know, man. I'm all about the popular vote. Yeah. I know that's kind of like a hot-button issue in this in this current coming election. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of Democratic <laughs> uh, con constituents <laughs> are trying to get the popular vote instead of Electoral College. And I think that we should be able to vote on something and be like, oh, look, we fucked up. Let's change that. I get it. Well, and like, I think the original vote, people didn't know the ramifications. Yeah, they were just like, oh, yeah, that sounds great. Britain forever. Us go. Yeah, dude, America. Yeah, that's and what then, it was. And then they were like, oh, God, this is bad. Mm. Oh, God. Yeah. They that's, fucked it up, man. Yeah, man. Anyways, that's why we can't have anything <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's why we can't have nice things, kids. Yeah. All right, um, Jonas. Next story, what do you got? There's nothing happy about this story. Jonas, why are you giving us Dude, I got some fucking... Sad. Dude, I come with the crazy shit. That's why it's the Crazy Town podcast, it's not friend. crazy if it's sad. It's not sad. No, you said it wasn't happy. There was active shooter training in an elementary school. <laughs> this fucking guy, dude. <laughs> why are you trying to depress me today? Dude, I'm just trying to make... <laughs> take the headlamp good. off. Does this work? It doesn't Oh, uh, the battery's died. All right. Maybe I took him out. <laughs> In Indiana, they had an active shooter drill, which would become more popular in schools. You know, they're like, hey, in case fucking crazy man Magoo comes in with an AR-15, you gotta be able to know what to do and not panic. Crazy man Magoo. I'm not gonna name any of their names. I'm not giving them notoriety. Uh, you know, Jonas, actually, that's very, yeah, dude. That's very adult of you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Absolutely. Good job. So, there was one in, in Indiana... That they had, during the drill, they came in as the active shooters, like the police or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they had all the teachers line up against the wall on their knees facing. I heard about this, Facing the, okay, the yeah, wall. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then as they're sitting there like that, all of a sudden they just unload on all the teachers with airsoft rifles. Leaving welts, bruises. Like, airsoft rifles are no fucking joke. They can, like, those plastic pellets will fuck yeah, you up. Yeah, I'm aware. And then when it happened... One of like it leaked no. out. What they said to the teachers was, "This is what happens when you just cower and do nothing." So in a drill, they they do nothing and they just like unleash airsoft pellets on the teachers. To to which, what are you looking for? I'm looking for what America used to be, man. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> the fuck happened to America? I know, dude. Well, Jesus. I mean. Now they are no longer using airsoft guns. Do the they're planks. using real ones. <laughs> We're just shooting blanks. Promise. Holy shit! Like, look, I understand you want to get the point across. That's a little much, though, dude. Just like look, honestly, like there's just like it's just like soccer moms, like fucking Yo. like hanging out teaching kids. Yo, and they're all like soccer dads, like fucking Bill Nye's uncle. Yo, and they're just like 
da 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 This is what you get for being a bitch. Like, excuse me. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a bit. Dude, much. I have to say, like, if, if I mean, it's police, but, like, wouldn't you want to, like, stand up and swing on that motherfucker? <laughs> like, on who? Like, the cop? That, like... You're in a drill. You're not supposed to get fucked up in a drill. And they just like, they're like, rat-a-tat-tat. I feel like they probably let him know beforehand what was going to happen, but it was probably still traumatizing to the soccer mom. Like yeah, you said. dude, they're a soccer dad. They're like, this is a serious drill. This is what could happen. And this could be the end of your life. Right. They're trying uh, They're trying to drive home a point, but it's yeah. still a little fucked up. I wonder that if you they say, said, break yourself, fool. I, Jonas. <laughs> You go, you, you you handle it with tact, and then you go right into there, and then it's you like... You gotta lighten the mute, you move, take, friend. Okay, fine. Lighten it up. That was it. That's all you got? That was, the, that was the lightning? The break was, yourself, fool. That was the levity to the situation? Yeah, dude. Consider my mood lightning. <laughs> I'm glad you were here to do it. I, I'm very much here. I'm proud of you. All right, you got anything else? No, nah, dude, I did my three. All right, cool. I got, you I got, got one more. A little more short. I got you. quite a few, whatever. All right, let's do Florida it. Florida mayor... Instead of Florida man, Florida mayor. I think I might have heard this too, but keep it going. There was in Port Ritchie, Florida. In Port Ritchie, Florida. There was a mayor. His name was Dale Mossad. He okay. was 68 years old. All right. Good. I'm glad they hired a, a name, last name Mossad to be their mayor. Good Mossad. Mossad. Yes. M-A-S-S-A-D. Mr. Assad. Mossad? Mossad. Mossad. Like mass ad. Mass ad. Yeah. So. All right. He, uh, they, they, they found out he was doing some things. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's Florida. He, yeah, he was uh, practicing medicine without a license. Yeah, well, who doesn't, he's Jonas? <laughs> Dr. Mayor MD, Dr. Mossad. DDS. He, he was a Mossad therapist. Ooh. <laughs> that was a good pun. I know, right? I love puns, dude. I'm a pun. Yeah. I'm not so much. I'm right. a pun master. Yeah. You're the meme lord. I'm the pun lord. Yeah, yeah. But you know, puns are easily digestible. My memes, you miss them, man. Dude, you, that whole Vsauce comment that I made that made somebody die. Someone, <laughs> somebody died, dude. <laughs> somebody Tim perished Apple. at Tim their Apple house. Died. <laughs> okay, see now that's kind of a meme, but it's also in the comments. I know. Those I was not, giving props. Those still, those still jokes from the comments. Jordan. I'm giving props. <laughs> Finish the guy. What did Assad do? Wow, dude. You're what did he this? do? So when they go to try to arrest him, he uh, shot at the SWAT team. Of course. That's what you do in the SWAT team. And then shoot. they arrested him. That wait wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> I thought his last name was Mossad. It was. Then how the fuck did he shoot at the SWAT team and, and get arrested? Because he didn't go out blazing, dude. He wasn't Bon Jovi. No, dude. His last name was Mossad, which allowed me to think that he was probably like are Indian you, or are Armenian. Are you being fucking stereotypical right no, now? No, I'm just saying that obviously this is a white dude. Because what? I ain't shooting at the SWAT team and not getting, getting arrested. <laughs> That's, That's not happening. Okay. Even All if right. I'm wearing this outfit, I'm not shooting at the SWAT team and not getting arrested. It's okay. just not going to happen. He did get arrested. Yeah, I know, but he should have been killed. They can't just kill him because they want to. He shot yeah, at it, the SWAT team. Dude, even if you're blazing guns, if you put it down, put your hands up, they can't just shoot you at that point. You know, okay, tell that to Mike, Mike Brown or somebody. Mike I don't know. Brown? He did, what what <laughs> happened to Mike? Shot, he, look, he died because the police shot him. I don't know, I think. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't I, know. There's too many to remember all their names, I, Jonas. You think of what I got them tattooed on my <laughs> chest or some shit? <laughs> yeah, dude, I do. <laughs> All, All right. right. Anyway, so they elect a new mayor. Wait, uh, there's more? Yeah, dude. Okay. This is just the preface. All right. His name's Terrence Rowe. He's 64 years old. Terrence Rowe. What did he do? Well, he was in office 20 days. <laughs> Florida. What are you and doing? They arrested him. <laughs> what are you doing? So the mayor who they arrested, his replacement, gets arrested 20 days after taking office. Jesus Christ. He was arrested Caesar. for obstruction of justice and conspiracy. Oh, well, those are typical politicians. He used crimes. a two-way radio to facilitate the commission of a crime, which I looked up is basically directing someone to do a crime over a two-way radio. It's like, breaker, breaker, one nine, and you rob that liquor store. What do you ask him to do? I don't know. It didn't say. Oh. They said it, they thought it might have been connected to Mossad, but they they didn't want to release that info. Wait a minute. They were like rivals? It's like, it's like Mossad's boy coming to office after him. He's like, clear that evidence out from Mossad. And they're like, oh. bro, we heard you. You're on the police scanner. He's like, joking and then they came and got him anyways <laughs> all right so 
<laughs> so uh, two criminals. Two mayors arrested yeah. within 20 days. Back to back. Going That's back cool. to back. Or is that a Drake attempt? Uh, that was the daddest of Drake <laughs> attempt ever. Back to back. Jonas, you're going to get us copyright ID oh, yeah, right. in Europe. So, you can't do that. You can't sing your favorite Drake songs. I do want to make an announcement. This is, uh, we will not have a podcast next next week. Nope. Uh, we Tell them why, Jonas. Uh, I am going to be out of the country. Yep. I'm going to Florida, man. No, you're not, Jones. That's in the country for one Well, time. I don't want to ruin the surprise. We'll talk about it on the podcast when I come back where I went. What do you mean? Just tell them where you're going. They won't... They're they're going to come there, dude. They're going to swarm Nobody's me. Nobody's going to fucking go to England and swarm your ass. You just ruined the surprise. Yeah, Thanks. I did. He's going to... Where are you going? London? London and Scotland. London and Scotland. Yes. Guess what? You can't do any memes there, motherfucker. You can't do what? You can't use any memes there, oh, motherfucker. Oh, dude. I was going to meet... Oh, dude, I was going to shit post the entire time mm, I was there. Because now it's God a problem. God damn it. Yeah. Just fill Google's coffers. So well, that's good, man. So we won't have a podcast next week, but we will be back after that. Yeah. And I will be in the house, so don't even think about coming here. The Crazy Town Compound will be well guarded by TNT Dynamite. I keep a shotgun underneath my bed pillows. Wow. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Oh, know wow. you are. I'm looking at you, too. I'm yeah. looking at you. Can't see my eyes? Can you see them now? <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> they look so wide. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, unfortunately, you know, that is all the time that we have for today's episode, of TNT Dynamite. Yes, it is. Uh, we want to thank y'all for watching us live. Make sure you follow us on Twitch, or you can uh, make sure you go to our YouTube channel, Crazy Time Media. Subscribe there, catch Definitely. all of our uh, replays of the podcast, video game playthroughs, new content, different stuff will be there eventually. I got some ideas, it's brewing in my brain. I need time to make them happen, come Ooh. to fruition. Ooh. Uh, Make sure you follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Crazy Town Media. Yeah, yeah. CrazyTown.com, the cornucopia. Dude, I love cornucopias. Nah, you like that word. Dude, it's great. It just flows off the tongue. Cornucopia of continuous information. <laughs> <laughs> what, dude? Nothing, dude. I'm just let you get your shit off, man. Right. Get your shit off. Well, get it off. I will see you in April. April. You damn man. right. God damn. For Jonas. For TNT Dynamite, we testicles are <laughs> out. <laughs>